all right youtube subscribers here we go with a quick uh fuel line video the way i'm gonna do it is kind of the the cheap and easy way to get your fuel lines done for your k-series swap so first things first on my fuel rail um i'm gonna use the oem fuel rail because with the kind of horsepower that i'm looking to make which is like close to stock power just trying to have fun with the car um i don't need the extra fuel delivery it works just fine with the stock one so what i did was i got a pressure fitting that's uh 5 16ths to and six which is this fitting here and it uh pressures right onto this um fuel rail so once i put this adapter on there as you guys can see i already kind of mocked up one of the fuel lines and that's how that would go this this i'm not gonna use this because obviously i need i'm gonna run it the way i'm gonna run it i need it a bit longer so then um what i'm gonna do is uh also for my return and my feed i got the same type of fitting a pressure fitting uh five sixteenths and uh one fourth for the return on the return you guys don't have to because it's not a pressure line it's just a return line but i just kind of wanted it to match up and look nice with the rest of the fitting so um it's only about 10 bucks for the fitting also uh then also what we're gonna do is i had this fuel filter already laying around from one of my old um setups which i wish i would have been black but because we're going budget um we're not looking to make it fancy right now maybe later i'll switch it out for a black one just so it'll match everything so for everything you guys see here, I spent about, um, with the fuel pump, um, fuel pressure regulator, which is on the way. It should be delivered in the mail today. I got an AEM fuel pressure regulator to match the AEM fuel pump. So for everything, fuel pump, the regulator, the fittings, everything I needed, uh, I spent $300. And if you guys are interested to find out all the parts that I got and where I got them from, um, I can post the links down in the video comments for you guys so these fittings are for the fuel pressure regulator because when aem sells it to you it doesn't come with the fitting so i had to order those and um what you guys will need is a tube cutter and this is pretty much what cuts your lines um get the smallest one you guys can get i know some guys buy a bigger one because they think it's gonna cut smoother but you actually need a small one because of the spacing so um yeah they're about four to five bucks on ebay or if you guys go to the hardware store about seven to ten bucks so um, let's get started on these fuel lines. all right so this is where i'll be running my uh fuel pressure fittings and uh, i'm gonna run my system starting from here some guys do tuck it under the chassis but because of the way i want mine to look i want you to kind of see the fittings and where I adapted everything. So later, if anybody wants to learn from my car, I can actually show them what I did versus, you know, having to get under the car and not being able to see it. And because I'm not going with a super tuck build, as you guys can see, I'm not gonna really tuck anything. I could tuck these headlight wires and stuff, but I just kind of want it to look stock. I'm leaving the fuel bo uh, fuse box there. I want to get an OEM factory uh, Honda battery, stuff like that. I am getting a black plate to cover this up right here with the cables. So I'm going to start cutting the fuel lines and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I cut them. All right, guys. So real quick, I'll show you guys how the tube cutter works. All you have to do is leave the tube cutter on there, tighten it real tight at the top. And the little wheel, it works as a cutter. So all you guys have to do is just keep rotating. And uh, one thing I wish I would have done, it's been a while since I built the car. I'm a little rusty. I wish I would have done the lines before I put my rack and pinion in, which just would have been a little bit smoother. Uh, for now, I just bent this uh, vent valve or vent tube or vent hose, whatever you guys want to call it, out the way. I'm going to remove it. And I'll also be showing you guys what I'll be doing with that. So once I finish cutting this line, I'll show you guys once the fitting's on there. All 
right guys so that's what it looks like after it's cut nice and smooth edge also you guys want to make sure you guys never use anything that's electrical that's going to cause any type of spark to do this because obviously you're dealing with fuel all right so here's what the fitting looks like it is a 5 16 hard line to female and six threading so that way it'll fit the universal fuel filter which is also an six um so i'm gonna add it on there and show you guys all right guys so i got the fitting on there at least the first part so as you guys can see this is the fitting that will tighten up to the end fitting and this little gold sleeve is what's going to create the pressure uh so it so it doesn't leak and that's what converts it into the n6 line so what i did was i left it a little bit lower because of the way it's going to line up with the return and i'll show you guys once it's on there guys so i got the fuel filter in there with the fitting pressure fitting uh reason why i cut it a little bit lower on the um delivery side is because of course we're going to add the fuel filter so the distance in between would have made it a little bit awkward so i left the return a little bit longer so it'll kind of match up like this both of them are going to be sticking out in the same place We go boys got the fuel filter in and the return line as you guys can see this is what i was talking about i wanted them to both kind of line up the way they come out so i had to go a little bit lower with the delivery line and for the return as you guys can see it'll just move around a little bit i'm gonna get a bracket and kind of clamp them down right where they are like this but just kind of to the firewall so yeah and actually, while I was here doing my lines, <clears throat> my actual fuel pressure regulator came in. Brand new in the box with the hardware and everything. So now what I need to do is add the fittings I was telling you guys, you guys about earlier, <clears throat> which they are right here. And they're just the an six. Screw right on. And it's gonna be three of them here and then at the bottom. And then right here is where our fuel, our fuel gauge will go. And real nice, I got it to, you know, matching system, AEM pump, AEM regulator. And because uh, with the setup we're doing, I'm gonna make my own fuel kit. And uh, I'll show you guys also how I put the fittings on the line. Also, this kit was about 50 bucks. You guys can buy a, 10 to 15 foot roll of line and uh, some fittings and it all comes in one kit so that's what I paid for that uh, got my fuel pressure regulator for 125 bucks uh, fuel gauge 20 bucks and um, fuel pump 120 bucks so give take about 300 320 for everything and um, with the fittings I needed to go on my fuel line uh fuel rail and everything so i'm gonna mount the fuel pressure regulator and uh show you guys what it comes out looking like real quick boys i put the fuel pressure regulator together as you guys can see came out real nice and clean i picked this uh fuel pressure gauge on purpose because it has a red needle with the white writing kind of match it up a little bit with the AEM here with the white writing also and then I figured I'd go there was one with a yellow needle but because it's gonna go mounted right here I just think it'll match up real nice and clean with the keep gun and sticker you know what I'm saying kind of get everything coordinated here and try to keep it clean and simple guys so I'm going to go ahead and um, try to mount this right here. See, it looks like it, we might be able to get it to happen due, due to how small these regulators are. It's one of the reasons why I also went with AEM this time. I've used K-Tune in the past and uh, just a little bit bigger. And uh, because everybody's going with K-Tune, I just 
thought I'd take it back OG with the AEM parts. So I'm gonna mount it up and then get the lines situated and see how we can get this to look. Real quick guys, just showing you guys how I mounted the fuel pressure regulator. Came out real nice and clean. This is my first time actually mounting it right there. So originally this brake line here goes mounted on that black clip that used to be there. So there's already a stock hole. And all I did was take a just a factory 10 with a factory 10 millimeter nut and then just tighten it down real good. And then what I'll do is I'll probably just zip tie or metal tie this hole to this brake line. So it just kind of holds it up in case it ever vibrates loose or whatever. Hopefully that never happens, but a bit like a secondary thing. I just hate drilling holes and cutting into cars. If we don't have to, I wouldn't like to. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the lines from here, uh, run the return here, the feed here, and then the delivery to the engine, I'll probably 90 it back towards me. But first what I'm gonna do is uh, the return and the feed here line them up and then cut the lines I'll show you guys how I cut the line also mocked up one of my lines this is how we're gonna do the feed and then the return is gonna go right across so I had to use two 90s and then for the feed I used two straights because the line is able to bend freely like that and I didn't have to use no uh, 90s or 45s on this one so 90 on the return straight line on the feed and then what I'm gonna do is take a 90 from here and run it back straight towards me so just real quick I'll show you guys how I cut the lines just to make it a little bit easier on you guys all right guys real quick what you guys want to do is uh, make sure that you guys tape the ends of your lines because if you guys cut without taping the ends you guys are gonna mess up the braids and then once the braids get undone, it's not going to let you put it into the end fitting. So just real quick, let me see if I can show you guys. As you guys can see, nice, real clean, straight cut. I'll take off the tape real quick so you guys can see what it looks like under there. As you guys can see, the braid stayed together. Nice and straight. And that's how you guys want it to look when you guys go into all your end fittings. That way you guys don't have any trouble. This here we go got the feed and return all dialed in so what I did here is I went with 290s and just went ahead and tapped in right here to the return like I told you guys before on the return you guys don't really need to go with the uh, end fitting because it is not a high pressure line uh, I just chose to do that just to kind of make it look a little cleaner uh, that's the fuel filter there hooked up to the fuel pressure regulator so now what I'll do is go from here hook up to the engine and uh, that I'll be doing last since I want to get a good measurement on the line so yeah guys let me know what you guys think comment subscribe and I'll keep you guys updated on the future updates we we do still have to do the fuel pump and remove that vent line so I'll be showing you guys how to get that done also